This is the fourth video of chapter six in the Excel comprehensive textbook. We are on the database function section on page 385. Um, item one says change the width of columns O, P, and Q to 13. So let's slide over here a ways. O, P, and Q, select all of them and set the column width to 13. Yeah, close enough. Okay. Uh, select O1 and type output area. And we want to copy the style from L1 to O1. So, yeah, that's not one, is it? Um, let's go up there. So, uh, copy that uh, using the format painter. And type category in O2. Type category in P2. And standing in Q2. Use the format painter to copy the formatting from the table column heading row to cells O2 and Q2. So let's just take this, click on the format painter, and drag it over those, and we're good. Select O3 and type residential. And P3, type vacation, and type gold in column Q. Um, go to cell 05 and type in uh, average. And in 06, type Okay, so I should put a colon on the end of that one, I guess. Uh, let's go to the end of that. Uh, edit, go to the end of it, put a colon on the end. And now we are on the top of page 386, and we're still going. We're going to type in uh, gold year year to date commissions and name and year to date commission okay and I want to make all of the stuff from Q3, O3 to Q11. Here's O3 to Q11. And I want to make all that bold. Okay. And now we're going to use the D average and D count database functions. Select cell Q5. So here is Q5. And type, uh, I'm going to do a D average. And again, I'm going to use the formulas up here. And uh, there is no database category here. So what I have to do is click on Insert Function here. And there is a database category here, though. So I can pick that. And the function I want is D Average, which happens to be the first one alphabetically. Click on OK. And the database that I want is from uh, A8 to J21. So A. 8 colon J21 comma whoops and then don't put a comma when you're filling in the boxes here uh, and then I want experience with quotation marks around it and Excel will put the quotation marks around it when I do it this way and then 02 colon 03 okay and then we can hit the enter key and select cell Q6 okay and what didn't it like about that um, 
Okay. Let's try that. Okay, and it doesn't like it because I typed a zero instead of an O. Let's try that now and see what we get. Okay, that's much better. Uh, now we want to go to cell Q6. And uh, I want to do another D average here. So I'm going to go to insert function. And D average is still up from last time. And the database is A8 colon J21. Uh, the field I want to look at is experience column and my criteria is what's in P2 to P3 and click on OK and P2 to P3 is this so uh, what's going on here is I'm looking at the table over here on the left and I'm looking at the experience column and I am taking the average where of just the rows where vacation is listed in the category column. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to go to Q7 and we're going to do a count of how many people have experience in the gold category. Um, So that's going to be a D count. Let's click on OK. And the database again is A8 colon J21. This would be a good place to give your table a name, by the way. Uh, the field we're going to look at is experience table. Since I'm typing it in the function arguments box, it will put the quotation marks around it for me. And I want Q2 colon Q3. And click on OK. And if I double click on this, you see a blue box around my table over here, uh, and you'll see a red box around this. So I'm counting uh, the experience column uh, where gold is in the standing column. So, uh, and the count looks for numbers. So if you go look at the experience column, it better be a column that has numbers in it, otherwise, it won't count anything at all. And it does have numbers in it, so we're good. If it didn't have numbers in it, you'd use D count A. Okay, so now we're on page uh, 388. I'm going to use the sum if function. And I want to go to cell Q8. And the function is going to be sum if. And again, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to the math and trig functions. That's under the math and trig list. And um, I want sum if. And the range is going to be J9, J21. Uh, the criteria is gold. And the sum range is H9 colon H21. Click on OK or hit the Enter key. And we get 339,687.5. And uh, they have us format that with. Um, the accounting style. So I'll go to your home tab here and apply accounting and decrease the decimals twice and you get 339,688. And now we use count if. Uh, top of page 389 now. Number one, I want the count if function. And again, I'm going to formulas here and go to math and trig and scroll down to, and interestingly enough, that one's not under math and trig. That one must be under statistical, so we'll do count if. And the range is going to be B9 colon B21. Criteria is residential. When I tab out of there, it puts quotation marks in for me. And so it is going to go to um, column B. And it's going to count uh, how many have the word residential in it. Uh, how many cells have residential in it. OK, and um, now the next function we're going to do is the uh, index function.
So we're going to go to P or cell Q10, and we're going to do the index. And let's see, I think that's under lookup and reference. Uh, yes. And and which one are we going to use here? Array row. Array, row number, column number. Let's try that. Click on OK. And our array is going to be A9 to J21. And the row number, we have to use the match function. Q10, comma, A9, colon, A21, comma, 0. And OK, it doesn't like that. We'll fix that in a minute. And then the number eight, and click on OK, and uh, it doesn't like that. So let's let's uh, double check here and make sure it matches what's in the book. Uh, index from A9 to J21, match Q10, A9 to A21, comma zero, comma eight, and that is supposed to be uh, in Q11. So I'm just do control X there and let's do a control V down there and let's make sure it got copied correctly. A9 to J21, uh, Q10, A9 to A21, 0, 8. And now let's hit the enter key and okay. Now it says not applicable, uh, but that's because we don't have a name in here. So let's type in lockstep Corey and it will look up his year-to-date commission for us okay um, they talk about printing on the bottom of page 390 I'm going to skip that part because you know how to print and uh, then we're going to go to page 391 and uh, convert a table to a range so we want to um, click the filter button in the category column. So let's go back over here and our filter buttons are not visible. So I'm going to go to my data tab and turn the filter buttons on. And let's try that again. Uh, I didn't click over here. So let's click over there and turn filter buttons on. There we go. Um, scrolling isn't enough. You got to click on the area that you want as well. Uh, I want to go to the category column and I want to sort from A to Z. So let's go to the category column, click on the down arrow and sort from A to Z. And it says press and hold or right click anywhere in the table and then tap or click table on the shortcut menu to display the table sub menu. So let's just right click here and um, table. And one of the options is to convert to a range. And it says, do you want to do this? And we'll say yes. Okay. And uh, another way to do that, uh, let's go convert that back into a table again. And uh, I think that's the one we had. Yeah. And I screwed up. I didn't want to include that headings column there. Do it. Let's try that again. Format is table. Let's go here. And now it wants to include that top one for some reason. And I wanted to start on column. And yeah, I screwed that all up. So this time I'm going to select it first. And then say format is table. And now it looks like it's going to work for me. Okay. Um, change my column width for some reason, but that's okay. Um, the other way I was going to show you to do that is to go to your table tools and go to your design tab up here and one of the options here is convert to range. So that's another way to do it and click on yes. And now it's back to a range and it's still formatted as a table but some interesting stuff happens if you sort it now we don't get the banded rows. 
uh, we can end up with, depending on how the sort works out, we can have several white rows together or several blue rows together. Um, but now we're on uh, the bottom of page 392. And it says to display subtotals tap, we're clicking the criterion field, in this case column B. And tap or click the subtotal button. on the data tab here. So our subtotal button is over here on the right. And it's because it's sorted now, we can do subtotals when on these groups here. So when the category changes from commercial to residential, we can do a sum for commercial, and then we do a sum for residential, we do a sum for vacation. And so at each change in the category column, this one right here, I want to use the uh, sum function for the yearly sales quota and for the year-to-date commission. I can't uh, stand. I can't sum the standing column. That's got words in it. And it says um, replace current subtotals. There are no current subtotals. Uh, we're going to do a page break, and we'll do a summary below the data, and then we can click on OK. And it says zoom to 100%. And now if we look at our data here, um, we've got a commercial total for the sales quota and the commission. Uh, we've got totals here for residential. We've got totals here for vacation. And then we've got a grand total row down here at the bottom. And you can also take these signs over here on the left. Excuse me, you can take these uh, minus signs over here on the left and you can use them to collapse or expand. So click minus if you want to see less and click plus if you want to see more. Okay, and um, that's the stuff they talk about on the bottom of page 393. And you can also click on the one and the two and the three up here to see the different levels as well. Uh, but then you can go in and individually turn them on and off by clicking on the pluses or the minuses. And the last thing is to save the file with a different name. So we'll go to our file menu and we will do a save as. And we're going to call this um, with subtotals. And that is the end of chapter 6.